been pretty much exactly one year since the whole shutdown from the pandemic occurred here and uh, during this time only people who had work to do in a specific place had permission to even leave their house. Since this was my job, <laughs> I permitted myself to come here. So one of the things that I was doing uh, was to make this uh, garden bed. Now it doesn't look like a lot now because nothing really happened with it because one month the borders were open, the next it was completely shut, so it was impossible to come here, take care of it, water things, and I was still learning as well. Um, I've, I think I've come a long way uh, learning-wise uh, compared to last year when I just got started. And what I want to do today is prepare this in the same way as I have with the two other garden beds on the other side of the house. So this would be the third one. I'm going to give it the same treatment as, as them, uh, which means I'm going to remove uh, all the obvious weeds around and then I'm going to put cardboard and cover it with compost. After that it's pretty much ready to start planting seedlings. This part of the property isn't really all that nice but it's going to be transforming a lot. I've got a pear tree here, peach, apple, plums and that poor mandarin that I saved. <laughs> now I don't know if it'll survive but remains to be seen. But yeah, within a year or two, I think this this part of the house, this part of the property is going to look a lot nicer than it does now. Certainly this forsaken <laughs> garden bed is going to look better. Actually, the only thing that survived from when this was an active garden uh, were these calendula, which have grown a lot and they've stayed alive throughout the summer and uh, all the way until until now. Anyway, let's get started. I feel unusually calm today. That's a that's a good thing. Less hype. All right, let's get started. And done. Somewhere along the execution of this, I realized that I forgot to film the progress, but it's kind of self-explanatory I guess but I'll give you a quick look so this is what it looks like it's not that wide so I just need one path in the middle to access because I can always access everything from the other sides as well so I put cardboard I put the compost and now I put a bunch of uh, seedlings and these are in fact my last seedlings from the previous uh, sowing so next week I'm starting a new batch but for now over here we have a loofah and this is eggplants, more loofah over there and here we have some basil, chilies, tomato and bell pepper. It's a bit of a mixed batch of what was left uh, but I'm pretty happy that I almost filled up the entire bed. Um, hopefully pretty soon it's going to be full of green, less black or brown and that's what it looks like. So uh, also one thing to mention over here. Uh, over here we get some mudslides every now and then so what I do is I dig out a channel for the water to pass through I did that before with the old garden bed uh, for the water to pass like this and just down here but just as an extra precaution uh, when there are really heavy rains uh, so basically I put a bunch of uh, I put bricks to prevent the the mud or the, the muddy water from sliding in over the garden bed so I put them here and here because this is the slope is like this the water comes down like this and like this I don't really need it around here this is just to mark the the perimeter and that is my new garden bed before I sign off I would like to give you a quick tour a bit of an update uh, regarding the rest of the garden this uh, is my wildflower patch here I just let everything grow the way it wants to grow the colors are amazing in a couple of weeks is going to be even more I just leave that alone it's great for the for the uh, for the pollinators it brings them over here and then it's a it's a close flight to the different garden beds now getting over here can you believe this used to be 5000 liters five full bags of compost and there's half maybe one bag in total that is left these are the air layered tree cuttings that i did 
Um, they're not looking fantastic, but I'm hoping that they're going to recover on their own. If not, we'll just try again. Over here, I finished planting everything. I put uh, marigolds and calendula over here on the edge. This is, well, you know what that is. Uh, these are bell peppers, and then we have oregano, chilies, cherry tomatoes, eggplants, onions, rucola, or arugula, or rocket, whatever you call them. This is the spinach that was left from uh, winter. It's all coming out soon because they're starting to bolt. All right, over here we have a variety of tomatoes, edamame beans, parsley in between, and some basil as well. This is a cherry tree. Hopefully we'll get a few cherries this year. These are different lettuces and here we have golden and regular beetroots and more lettuce planted in between. Uh, sunflowers over here, marigolds, you know, keeping the pollinators happy. Over here are cucumbers underneath. Oh, they actually start start to come out now. Uh, these are potatoes underneath there. These are more cucumbers. We got strawberry. This whole row are sunflowers and cucumbers. Over here we have peas. Lots of peas at the moment. Last batch of radishes. More arugula. These are a few more beetroots. Uh, spinach. These are starting to bolt as well. They have to get out soon. These are chilies. <laughs> I actually have a tiny chili over there. It's been a bit chilly, so they're not very happy. Over here we have, ooh, flowering coriander. I absolutely hate coriander, but the missus loves it, so she got a corner of coriander. Over here we have some leeks or spring onion. And running quickly over to the other side. Uh, this is what I did, by the way. I had some stuff growing in the growing in the um, in the compost bags, so I literally just took a shovel, went deep underneath, lifted up the whole thing, and these are uh, arugula and dill mixed together. Here we have a bunch of tomatoes. These are zucchinis on this row, some chard and different lettuces, and cucumber here as well. And that's my garden so far. Next week is uh, sowing week and we do it all over again. I actually don't know. I've planted all the stuff that I wanted to grow. So if you have any ideas, maybe you can comment your uh, favorite vegetable or fruit down below and let me know. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this little update from the garden. If you did, you know what to do. Take care. Have a good one. See you next time.